between 1990 and 1996, the Madeira Electric Company developed an hydraulic project designated as Sucorridos Multipropose System. The main purpose of Sucorridos multi-purpose system was to transfer the exceeding water resources from the north zone, particularly in the Rabasas and North Channel, and from the valleys of Inferno Riverside and São Vicente Riverside to hydro-laking areas located in the south of the island, in order to assure, firstly, the public water consumption of Câmara de Lobos, Ribeira Brava and Funchal Councils and also the irrigation of Ribeira Brava, Câmara de Lobos Axis, and finally, the production of electric energy. This project comprises the construction between 1990 and 1996 of the following main tasks. 15 and a half kilometers of tunnel and open air channels that assure the transportation of water capture in the north side of the island to the south. An hydro upper reservoir or loading chamber with an approximate capacity of 7,500 cubic meters. A hydroelectric power plant named Sucorridos plant equipped with three generator groups of 8 megawatts each with a maximum potential of 24 megawatts. During the rainy season, the Sucorridos multipurpose system fulfill all three main goals. However, with the decrease in availability of water resources, verified over the past few years, jointly with water consumption increase, provokes that during the dry season, when water levels are lower, a progressive decrease on energy production in Sucorridos hydroelectric power plant as soon as the water resources were only enough for irrigation and consumption. Taking in consideration those limitations and with the purpose to assure the yearly activities of Socorridos Hydroelectric Power Plant, Madeira Electric Company decided to develop a project to convert this plant from a winter-only power station, manifestly dependent on rainfall, in order to transform it into a reversible function power plant used throughout the year regardless of the incidence of rain. This transformation and new production philosophy have led to the construction of several hydraulic infrastructures. A totally underground return gallery with a store capacity of 40,000 cubic meters which allows collecting and storing the water used in the hydroelectric production cycle. The enlargement of the loading chamber capacity from 7,500 cubic meters to 40,000 cubic meters achieved with the construction of a 5-kilometer tunnel between Cuvão and Campanario designated as Tunnel of Cuvão. A tunneling machine was used in the construction of the Tunnel of Cuvão. The use of a tunneling machine was an innovative work methodology in the autonomous region of Madeira. There are several environmental benefits of using such technology mainly if we consider that it avoids the use of explosives and simultaneously allows to preserve the rock layers.
the construction of the pumping station partially underground, equipped with four 3.75 MW electric pumps, assures the restitution of water accumulated in the underground accumulation gallery to the loading chamber and tunnel of Kubao. The operation of this reversible system can be briefly described as follows. During the peak hours when energy demand is higher, the water accumulated in the loading chamber and tunnel of Kuvão is transferred through the penstock to Sucurridos hydroelectric power plant to produce energy. The turbinated water is collected in the accumulation gallery where it remains until it is reused during off-peak hours when energy demand is lower. During off-peak hours the existing pumps start working, sending the water from the accumulation gallery to the loading chamber and tunnel of Kuvão. In the following peak hour, the water that was previously in the accumulation gallery is now locating in the loading chamber and tunnel of Kuvão, being ready to start a new hydroelectric production cycle. The transformation of Sucurridos hydroelectric power plant from a winter plant into a reversible system offers three essential advantages maximizes the benefit of the power plant installed capacity at any season of the year, overcoming dry season restrictions, allows a greater penetration of clean and renewable energies, namely wind energy, additionally allows to increase efficiency in managing the Madeira energy power plants, replacing the necessary investments in thermal power generation dependent on oil derivatives. The total investment related with this project amounted to 33.4 million euros, up to 50% of which financed by European Union through the FEDER, European Funds for Regional Development, and the remaining amount entirely assumed by Madeira Electric Company.